I'm here today to bring a chill message, you guys. Uh, this part's going to sound fast. It's just uh, for the shuffle and for the song. You guys, I have, I will slow it down for the reading. I do have what, what signs we have left. Yes, cards are looking a little messy right now. So that's about, we're a little dizzy. Oh, okay. Let's see. Who's this reading for? Well, there it is. Shut it out. Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, our scorpion friends. Scorpio, Scorpio. Yes. Hi, Scorpio. I am Molly. I am a clear audience psychic so empath. Yes. I am shuffling. Oh, look at that. Look at that scorpion. Skittling around. Skittles. Did somebody eat some Skittles? Okay. Scuttling around. Okay. Somebody might be dancing. They might have a little pep in their staff. Uh-huh. Okay. So, Scorpio, I did do a song for you. I'm so excited to do a reading. Yes, Scorpio, because the reading came in. I'll tell you about it when we slow down. Okay. Oh. Guess what, though? It's not just one wing, it's two wings. Oh, there you are, Scorpio. Okay. Alright. Okay, Scorpio. I'm ready. Your song, Scorpio, is Edge of 17 by Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put my headphones on. I have a song all queued up. And I'm gonna uh, listen to the song, shuffle the cards, sing along, and see what happens. Alright. And like I said, we'll slow it down. Uh, once all the cards out. Alright, are you ready, Scorpio? I'm ready. Let's start. Alright. <coughs> ooh, my throat chakra's closing up. <coughs> just like the one wing does. Ooh, baby, ooh. Ooh, just like the one wing does. Since the song sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, ooh. The day is going by, and the wind, 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 just like the one-winged dove sings a song sound like we're singing it. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh. Just like the white-winged dove sings a song sounds like she's singing it. Ooh, ooh, said ooh. Mm -hmm, now we go again tomorrow. Mm -hmm, new shit in our feels. Don't you mean familiar? Whoa. When I see you going. Oh, 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 oh. Nothing else matters. Just like the one wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, said ooh. Just like the white wing dove sings a song, sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, said ooh. Ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Changes color, but the sea does not change. Ah, 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 angel, desire to be. The edge of seventeen. Final message for Scorpio. Just like the one winged dove. Ooh, ooh, said ooh. Just like the one winged dove. Sing song sounds like she's singing. Ooh, baby, ooh, said ooh. Just like the white winged dove. And suddenly there was no one left standing in the hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come away, come away, come away, just like the white wing dove. Ooh, baby, ooh, said ooh, just like the white wing dove. It's Missy Day. Hi, Scorpio, it's Molly. All right, so that was your song and your shuffle. Hi, Scorpio, my name is Molly. I'm a Claire audience, psychic empath. Uh, this is the nail situation. Uh huh. It. Didn't see it at first. A little chips, yes, because Chips Ahoy is running in for the win. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, the horse did run in. Guess what, Scorpio? It delivered a telegram. Oh my gosh! You want to see it? That's pretty cool. Laura Ingalls Wilder. Misty Day. Passed out when, Steve, when Stevie Nicks sang for her. Mm-hmm. Dream come true. Magic. She's been twirling all night long. Everything is topsy-turvy. Mm-hmm. All right. Got a message. Came from the east, went to the west. Oh, yes. Missy Day. Passed out when Stevie Nicks sang for her. Look at, there she is, Misty Day. Hi, Misty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. The Empress. Turn this rainy day at the beach into a Misty Day. Oh, fantastic. Cool. Okay. All right. 
There it is. Okay. All right. Scorpio. Oh my God. Okay. Let's hear. Let's hear. Okay, Scorpio. Uh, so I am a super Libra brought to you by Venus. I'm a librarian for the Akashic Records and a guide for spiritual awakening and the twin flame journey. Uh, Scorpio, I am channeling. That means I'm in a meditative dreamlike state. Yes. And, uh, okay, now I see David Lynch. Okay. Uh, David Lynch made a wonderful little documentary that shows where I go when I do my readings. Okay. Uh, I'll put it down in the comments. Okay. David Lynch might mean something. So, uh, Scorpio, yep, yep, when that song popped in my head, uh-huh, um, I watched it, but you, at first, Scorpio, I actually had the Bee Gees, staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 staying alive, oh, dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Somebody's definitely feeling alive. It's his King of Cups. Yeah, they're in love. Okay. So I did watch the Bee Gees video first because I thought that was your song. Uh huh. But I think I was just watched it to get some messages from the video. Uh huh. All right. Uh, while I tell you these messages, Scorpio, I'm going to pop some clarifiers, and then I'll, I will do your reading. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm just going to tell you the downloads I got. All right, so lace curtains are coming in again. Uh-huh. Somebody may have lace curtains. Uh, a broken window may need re uh -huh. repair. All right. Somebody may wear a vest. Somebody may be doing some home repairs. A telescope may mean something. All right. Okay, that's done. All right, Scorpio. Uh, the Pantheon in Rome. That may mean something. Whoa, that just shot so far out. Look at that. Okay. Um, the Renaissance Festival. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. There she is at the Renaissance Festival. Okay. All right. Okay. Somebody may have like a side gig. Uh, uh huh. That's what that means for me. Okay. Like a side thing that they do that brings in some money. Okay. Uh huh. And there's an empty throne. Okay. Okay. Um, somebody may be seeing something coming. Look at him. He's like officially got up and he's like, I'm freaking going to the Renaissance Festival. Okay, somebody may be going to the Renaissance Festival. All right, somebody's seeing a zest for life. Uh, orange may mean something. Uh, somebody's sacral chakra. Uh-huh. Could be on fire. Yeah. Um, I did hear right before, mm -hmm, before I started, I heard this um, big truck blast its horn, sounded just like a train. Yeah, the train is coming. Should I get on? It's my wish fulfillment. And a whole bunch of new love that's been sent in by the universe. It's an empath who has been awakened that can transmute energies. And they are a divine feminine. Holy cow! Yeah, I'll say that rainy day turned into a misty day. Okay, all right. This person is just realizing that their rainy day has turned into a misty day. Okay, all right. Uh huh. All right, this person may have felt like they had uh, lost their pleasure. They may have felt all sorts of oppression, something like that. Uh huh. But then Spirit sent in a dragon slayer. Look at 
This person's holding all these wands and they're waving to the empress over there. Hi. Hi. All right. She may have dropped in in their life when they were all feeling shitty. And she's, uh-huh. She's showing him. Uh-huh. Okay, this is the masculine. Oh, my darling. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, that rainy day at the beach is over. Uh-huh. The white dove doesn't have one wing. It has two wings. It's not a one-winged dove. It's a white-winged dove. Ah. All right. And somebody wants to have a discussion and talk about this. Okay. All right. All right, let's read. So what I'm gonna do now, I have my little mini tarot word deck, see it? Up in here, yep. Okay, shuffle those babies around, okay. Oh, my nose is starting to itch like crazy. Better listen up, Scorpio. Important messages. All right. Uh, somebody may have had a significant trauma or experience. It could be you, Scorpio, carrying a big old burden. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have somebody showing up. They could have had, uh-huh, a rainy day. Something happened to them. Uh, maybe when they're around 16, 17 years old, teenager, okay. Uh, whatever it was, it caused a psychological burden for this person, okay. Uh, if you see this bear, uh -huh, it carries this big pile of sticks on its back. But if you look, the sticks aren't actually touching the bear. They're just hovering above the bear. So, uh-huh. Uh, there may have been three significant uh, people or three significant things that happened uh, around that time, all right, that gave this person this burden bear feeling, uh-huh, uh, a psychological burden that they carried around and they were afraid if they moved the wrong way, they'd get poked by the stick. Yes, all right, uh-huh. Somebody may have dominated them. Uh-huh. All right. May have prevented this person from coming together in growth and trust and love. Uh-huh. Working well with other people. Okay. They may have just skittled off. Yep. Uh-huh. May have had them stuck. Yep. In a reptilian type brain. The fight, flight, or freeze brain. All right. What does the mini tarot have to say about that for Scorpio? We have the Eight of Swords. Frustrations, feeling bound and gagged. Just, yeah, just what I was saying. Somebody was dominated, do, like a domineering uh, thing held this person down. Yes. Uh, they could have had problems in marriages. Uh huh. Feeling bound and gagged, not feeling able to open themselves up truly, speak their truth for fear of getting. Uh huh. Poked by all these sticks. Okay. Here it is, that thing, that thing that happened on the edge of 17. All right. There was some devil energy that came into play. All right. It was a rainy day at the beach. Okay. We have the devil and defeat. All right. Somebody's been living with this energy for quite a long time. Yeah. Uh, it was a heartbreaking situation. Yes. This person is looking now differently. Uh-huh. For a long time, 
Uh, they didn't know what to do with this devil energy that had been with them for quite a long time. Uh-huh. But now spirit has delivered the Ace of Swords to this person. Uh-huh. They were not defeated. For Uh-huh. This devil energy made this person feel like they were a one-winged dove. Yeah. This devil cut off their other wing. Uh-huh. On that, uh -huh, on that rainy day at the beach. Okay. Let's hear about it. Scorpio. Page of Cups. Young woman to 25 years. Basic good news. Ooh. All right. So this person, mm-hmm. I'm seeing, uh-huh, this basic good news, and this person is holding the Ace of Swords, uh-huh, in the right hand, okay, all right, so this new energy has come in, all right, to turn this rainy day into a misty day, uh-huh, it's the Empress, okay, uh-huh, she's brought in some good news for this person, the truth, clarity, okay. This person is observing what had happened in a different way. Uh-huh. Acknowledging the devil energy that was there. All right. We have the chariot with gossip. Just like the one winged dove. Okay. This person, uh-huh, there they are. Look at all that armor they wear. Okay, yep. Whatever happened caused this person to put on their armor. Yep, and fly around with one wing. Okay. Uh, people may have talked some shit about this person. They may gossip about this person. They may low vibe about this person. Made them wear all this armor. Yep. Uh, this person, okay. Was not balanced within their yin and yang. No, no, no. Okay. We have the gossip covering up. Uh-huh. This side. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. But we have the empress here coming in to say that was just a bunch of yang -yang and ding-dongs. Okay. Let's hear about it for Scorpio. Before you diagnose yourself with depression, make sure you're not, in fact, surrounded by assholes. Ah, one of my favorite memes, yes. Okay, Scorpio. Okay. This person may have been surrounded by a bunch of low vibers. Okay. Money fluctuations, being offered something you may not want. All right. Just like a one-winged dove. All right. Okay, there may be a lot of trash talking. Uh-huh. It's just more of this, like, uh, this is like rejection. Uh, this is uh, just kind of that icky low vibe feeling, the Four of Cups. This person was wearing this armor for so long because they only had one wing. But then, look what happened. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. Uh-huh. Spirit sent in Misty Day, the Empress. Yes. Uh-huh. Somebody may know somebody who's kind of witchy. Somebody may know somebody who's uh, a little extra. Uh-huh. She knows how to twirl. Oh, yeah, she does. Okay. Uh-huh. I see the lily. Okay. She's holding a lily. Uh-huh. Yeah. The stem of the lily. The fibers are strong, hard to break. Yes. All right. With that came abundance with the three of cups and the king of cups. We have the masculine full on. 
Uh huh. Sitting at the sunny beach, looking at the Empress. Okay. He can see great abundance with her. Uh huh. He feels like these strong fibers can help him. Uh huh. Heal from whatever this Four of Cups was. I see one, two, three, four now. Uh huh. This gossip, this shit talk. Okay. We have Pinecone showing up. Oh, this is the most spiritual card of the deck. This is human enlightenment. This is the third eye opening. Yes, this is spiritual expansion, growth. Yes, all right. There is a huge spiritual connection between these two people. Uh-huh, spirit may be bringing them together. Okay, let's hear about it. <gasps> oh, uh-huh, now here. Joy to the world. To all the boys and girls, joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea, joy to you and me. Okay. Oh, okay. The telegram came in. Joy to the world, joy to the king of wands. Okay. <laughs> Let's hear about that for Scorpio. All right. Uh, Scorpio, somebody may have met somebody new that brings them a lot of joy. Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. A woman over 25 years, brown eyes and brown hair. Cold, hard, demanding authority. All right. This masculine, uh-huh. Could have spent a lot of time with the Queen of Swords. Yep. He needed to spend some time with an Empress. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. The Empress is the cure. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. So this has to do with the Smith's debacle. Okay. So this masculine. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. May have... Uh... May have spent some time with somebody or been in a relationship with somebody in the past or somebody that um, wasn't spiritually enlightened. They may have been uh, cold, hard, demanding. They may not have shown him that uh, he has uh, uh -huh, two wings and not one. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Okay. Misty Day comes from the swamp. Okay. Yes, she does. All right. Misty Day is a healed person, the Empress. Somebody's realizing it. It's the King of Cups. He's never met anybody like that. Uh huh. I've never met a girl like you before. Uh. I bet not. It's a divine feminine. Never, 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 never. Okay. I've never met a girl like you before. Okay. All right. Here's, uh-huh. Here's the masculine. He's realized he's never met a girl like this before. This, uh-huh. This person has established strength, material happiness. This is the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. Uh-huh. And this is the Three of Wands. Somebody is seeing their ship is in the harbor. Yep, it's pulling in right now. Oh my God, it's my wish fulfillment. Uh-huh. Never, never. Okay. And she wears a little red Corvette. Okay. That's a Raspberry Beret, but I don't know what Little Red Corvette has to say. Okay, somebody may drive a Corvette. Okay, Prince may mean something. Okay. We have new love showing up. Spirit sent in new love. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this person is just observing it. Uh-huh. They're hiding in the, uh -huh, in the bushes right now, thinking about it. Okay. Somebody may have found uh, their spirituality. 
They may have healed from uh, whatever this was. Okay. They may have healed from a past religion. They may have found their religion. Okay. Whatever it was, there was a death and a transformation so this person can get balanced. All right. We have a bleeding heart. This is my card for an empath. All right. We may have a super empath. We have two empath cards here. All right. Uh, the bleeding heart always has, uh-huh, their arms open, ready for a hug. Yes, this is somebody who can transmute energy. All right. We have rebirth, their life mission, maybe to help people transmute energy, understand their rebirth, understand their sacral chakra. Uh-huh, this may be a very creative person. They may be a muse. They may spark creativity in other people. Uh-huh. All right, so here she is. Okay, you see here, uh-huh. All right. Here, she's giving a hug to him. And here, she's opened up for a hug, all right. So uh, this could have something to do with siblings. It doesn't have to. This person can understand sibling issues. They may have their own issues or something like that, all right. This is more uh, my card for the feminine is an empath and it's helping the masculine look down upon uh, things that happened in the past. Okay, there's the beach. Okay. Okay, she's showing this masculine, this devil energy that was at, at that rainy day at the beach. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it made him think for so very long that he only had one wing. But the lyrics, uh-huh, are actually, they're not just like a one-winged dove. She's showing, uh-huh, she's showing him, uh-huh, that it's actually a white-winged dove. Yeah, all right. All right, she may be an earth angel, uh-huh. All right. Let's hear about this. We have the masculine here taking a look at this great big opportunity that's coming in. Uh-huh, the train is honking the horn. Are you gonna jump on? Okay, there's a wish fulfillment here. All right. Let's hear more about it for Scorpio. Ah, she's a high priestess. The highest card in the tarot deck. Very powerful. Good or bad. Secrets to be revealed. All right. This Empress, uh-huh. Maybe a high priestess. Yeah, she's a very powerful person. Uh-huh. She may have psychic gifts. She's a, she may be a super empath. Yep. Divine feminine. Uh-huh. This masculine is realizing. Yes. Okay. We have the Dragon Slayer that came running in this Knight of Wands, yes. Uh-huh. To get rid of this feeling of loss of power, loss of pleasure, oppression, yes. To spark the fire back, uh-huh. This person, this masculine, may have been feeling very sad and depressed, carrying a bunch of wands for quite a long time. They only thought they had one wing. Not only did they have to carry all these wands, they had to carry them just with their one wing. Uh-huh. But this empress, uh-huh, has shown them, look at, it's like, hi, look at, I actually have two wings. And she's like, I know. Wanna fly? Okay, all right. All right, so, uh-huh, all right, let's hear more about that. The Scorpio. The Hanged Man. Getting stronger in oneself after a lot of deliberating and delaying in your life. Right on! Okay. 
So this person had to see something from a completely different perspective. Yep. They were stuck in dismal land. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. So this empress came in, transmuted energy. Now their sacral chakra is on fire. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And now they're seeing things from a different perspective. And they realize they are not a broken one wing dove like this devil energy wanted them to think. Yeah. They're actually a white winged dove. Uh-huh. And the empress has shown them that. Oh, fantastic. All right. There you go, Scorpio. Here's your reading for today. Uh, that's the first part of your reading, Scorpio. Uh, it looks like this masculine may be thinking about asking this feminine out on a date. You want to do something? Want to come together? Want to rejoice? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Um, okay, so I'll watch this back, Scorpio, and whatever uh, buzzwords kind of call out to me when I'm watching it back, I'll do a little search in my past readings. Yes, this is my job as the librarian for the Akashic Records. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And whatever uh, kind of buzzword shoots out at me, I'll search it, and then a bunch of readings will pop up. And then I'll copy and paste those down into the comments. Yes. So you may get additional messages from Spirit. Uh, just cruise down in the, in the comments and click on anything you feel called to click on. Take note of the titles. There may be a message in, within the titles. Uh-huh. And hit subscribe before you click any links so you can find your way back if you get stuck down a rabbit hole. Uh-huh. She'll help you find your way back. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. If you want to cruise my Etsy shop, there's a link right there in the description. All right. Peace out. Love ya. Bye-bye.